again. Mm -hmm. yes. Bangkok, Thailand. And from Thailand, we'll go ahead and move on to our next correspondent. Mm -hmm. uh, Chrishell Lacuna from our EBC Vietnam Bureau. All right. <laughs> Hello, Chrishell. Hi, Chrishell. Good afternoon. <laughs> This is Faye Barton. We're living interesting. House. Oh, yes. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, Faye. And then from Thailand, from Thailand we to go Vietnam. to Vietnam. Yes. Good afternoon again, Chriselle. Hi, Alma and Kyle. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, how is it going right. in Vietnam? If you could give us, you know, if you could be our eyes and our ears all the way in your country right now. <laughs> Yes, there, there is a one uh, confirmed case as of this morning and uh, bringing the national tally to 420 mm -hmm. with uh, 365 uh, having fully recovered, uh, accounting for 86% uh, recovery rate. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Go ahead, Michelle, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. For... For, for our first headline, Vietnam and New Zealand elevate ties to strategic partnership. Vietnam and New Zealand established a strategic partnership on the 45th anniversary of their bilateral diplomatic ties. Vietnamese Prime Minister Nguyen Xuan Phuc and his uh, New Zealand counterpart, Hacinda Ander, agreed to formally elevate the two countries' comprehensive partnership to a strategic level during the virtual summit of, on 22nd of July. The strategic partnership was set up as the countries observed the 45th anniversary of their bilateral diplomatic ties, given the positive and the sustainable development of the comprehensive partnership established in 2009. It is based on the common interest and the growing mutual trust between the two nations, the official Vietnam News Agency wrote. The new partnership is hoped to create momentum for bilateral relations to further develop across all spheres for the sake of the two peoples and for peace, prosperity in the Indo-Pacific region. Prime Minister Phuc praised the comprehensive development of the two countries friendship and cooperation over the past decades and expressed appreciation for the New Zealand's official development assistance, which has boosted Vietnam's social economic development. He suggested that both sides maintain the growth of bilateral trade and strive for annual trade turnover of about $2 billion in the, next, in the near future. Bilateral trade reached $1.3 billion in 2019, representing a year-on-year -year rise of 13%. Prime Minister Arden congratulated Vietnam on its success in coping with the novel coronavirus disease pandemic, noting that both countries' effective control of outbreaks has created favorable conditions for them to soon resume connectivity and cooperation in all aspects. Regarding the situation in the East Vietnam Sea, both government leaders affirmed the importance of maintaining peace, stability, security, safety, and freedom of navigation and overflight in the maritime sea area. All disputes must be resolved via peace, peaceful measures and on the basis of international law, especially the 1982 United Nations Convention of, on the Law of the Sea. The true Prime Minister Prime Ministers emphasized that uh, United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea provides a solid legal framework for all activities in the oceans and seas. Another headline, uh, Alma and Kyle, OFWs in Ho Chi Minh City affected by pandemic recipients of aid to humanity by INC. The Iglesia Ni Cristo or Church of Christ conducted aid to humanity to extend help to OWs affected by pandemic in Ho Chi Minh City. INC volunteers gave out relief packages to affected OFWs whose sources of livelihood were greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, most of whom were teachers, factory workers, and domestic helpers. After a three-week nationwide lockdown, Vietnam lifted social distancing rules in late April. Business, businesses and the schools have reopened and life is gradually returning to normal. The beneficiaries were very grateful and thankful to this kind and hum humanitarian act of the INC Church. And we'll also would like to take this opportunity to greet the INC Church 
of Christ and its members for reaching the church 106th founding anniversary. So for this latest from Vietnam, Alma and Kyle. Thank right. you for that update coming from uh, Vietnam. So earlier we've covered uh, Thailand, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for that. And please take care over there so we can keep hearing from you, of course.